With fall comes the beginning of the holiday season, and there's a lot of preparation homeowners take care of, but one thing that's easy to overlook is pest control. With dropping temperatures, common pests like rodents, stink bugs, bed bugs, wasps, and many others are looking for increasingly scarce food or shelter. Unfortunately, our homes are equipped with everything most pests need. If left alone, an infestation can occur and create thousands of dollars of property damage. So in this video, we'll go over four common pests known to be active during fall and some things you can do to treat them. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping with Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. As temperatures get cooler, more rodents will seek shelter indoors. Many rodents like Norway rats are capable of gnawing their way through housing material, including wood and metal. If left alone, rats and mice can cause some serious damage to your home's structural integrity and can even create fire hazards by chewing on electrical wiring. In some situations, a single mouse invading your home can quickly become an entire horde of mice foraging for food in your garage or kitchen. Before you use any of the products mentioned in this video or start any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To treat rats and mice this fall, we recommend you use a bait like Eradication Rodent Bait set inside of a rat and mouse bait station. Eradication is a poison bait block made with difacinone, peanut butter, and other rodent attractants. And a rat and mouse bait station provides rodents with an ideal environment to shelter in. Just set the bait onto the provided prongs and crumb tray inside the station and set the station along the outer perimeter of your home or along the fence line. Rodents in the area will detect the bait and travel along your structure to reach it. Once there, they'll go inside, eat the bait, travel back to their nests, and die within two to four days. Once you've seen a reduction in rodent activity, you can set up glue trays to monitor for future outbreaks. We recommend professional rat and mouse glue trays since they're baited with the peanut butter scent and easy to set up. Just pull the trays apart and place them where you've noted previous pest activity. We recommend you set them close to pest entry points like doors, windows, wall voids, cracks, and crevices out of the reach of children or pets. If you, a child, or a pet get stuck on a glue tray, you can use cooking oil to loosen the stickiness. Stink bugs are among the most unwanted pest invaders a homeowner can find. When disturbed or crushed, they release a scent that many people find unpleasant. Stink bugs are sensitive to the cooling temperatures of fall, causing them to invade indoors. While harmless, these insects congregate in large numbers, manage to find ways into our living spaces through cracks and crevices, and create unpleasant odors nobody wants to put up with. If you're looking for long-term control of stink bugs, we recommend you use a bifenthrin-based liquid insecticide concentrate. When applied properly, the bifenthrin will leave a long-lasting residual that will control a wide variety of pests, including stink bugs. For a bifenthrin product with a concentration of 7.9% active ingredient, you'll mix a solution at a rate of 0.33 fluid ounces to one whole fluid ounce of product per one gallon of water. Use the higher amount if you're dealing with a heavy pest infestation. We recommend you make the application with a one gallon handheld pump sprayer since it makes both mixing and applying product quick and simple. To mix your solution, first fill your sprayer halfway with water. Add your measured amount of product into the sprayer, then add the remaining water up to the one gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Apply your solution as a perimeter application. Spray along your home's outer perimeter, spraying three feet up the structure and three feet out. Then allow the product to dry. When applied properly, the bifenthrin will leave a long lasting residual effect that will kill many pests like stink bugs that come into contact with it. To treat tight cracks and crevices where stink bugs hide, use a dry insecticidal dust like defense dust. Defense Dust is a ready-to-use dust made with Delta Methrin that's perfect for hard-to-reach areas. If left undisturbed, this dust can last up to 8 months. Use a handheld duster to apply Defense Dust under appliances, behind baseboards, wall voids, behind electrical plates, and in the attic. Stink bugs and other invasive pests that make contact with the dust are effectively knocked down and die within a few hours. Bed bugs are public health pests that become increasingly widespread during the holiday season. Though bed bugs can occur year-round, many homeowners notice outbreaks during fall because they may have picked them up while traveling during summer. Despite their name, these pests will inhabit any crack or crevice in any piece of furniture or personal belonging. Bed bugs will feed on humans, sucking their blood and creating itchy bites. 
If you're dealing with bed bugs, know that as you conduct treatment, most of your furniture and belongings within the infested room will have to be left in their original spots. Moving furniture around to different parts of your home can result in the infestation spreading. Before applying products, you'll need to thoroughly vacuum the floors of the infested room, then wash all clothing, blankets, and other loose fabrics, drying them with high heat. We recommend that you apply a product like Flex 1010. Flex 1010 is a liquid insecticide concentrate made with permethrin and piperonyl butoxide, or PBO. You'll apply this product in a 1-gallon handheld sprayer at a rate of 3.2 to 6.4 fluid ounces of product per 1-gallon of spray solution. You can apply the solution to the tufts, edges, seams, and folds of any mattresses in the infested room. Afterwards, we recommend you add an insect growth regulator like Gentral IGR. Gentral IGR is an insect growth regulator made with hydroprene. This product will prevent nymphs from maturing into reproductive adults. Simply mix one fluid ounce of Gentral IGR into your current spray solution. You can apply this solution of Flex and Gentral onto the bed frame, box spring, any furniture within the room, any closets, over the flooring, and onto baseboards. Once you've completed your application, the next step is to flush out cracks and crevices with a product like Pyrid. Pyrid is an aerosol insecticide made with permethrin and PBO, and is great to flush out hiding pests with. For crack and crevice applications, affix the included straw into the can's actuator, stick the straw into the area where pests may be hiding, and spray in quick bursts. Pyrid will immediately knock down pests that make contact with the spray, killing them within minutes. Please note that bed bug treatment may take time and could require several retreatments in 30-day intervals. Do not remove an infested mattress as it may spread the infestation to other parts of your home. Instead, you can protect your mattress and box spring from future infestations by sealing them with bed bug encasement bags. Stinging insects like yellow jackets and hornets are commonly active during summer, but tend to show more aggression during fall. Most larvae in the colony have already matured into adults by fall, leading to a perceived increase in population or aggressive behavior. Many populations of these stinging pests will not sting unless threatened or if someone wanders too close to their nests. If you've noticed these pests on your property, you'll know they have a nest nearby that can pose a danger to you or your family. Your treatment is going to vary depending on which pest you're dealing with. You'll first want to identify whether you're dealing with yellow jackets, wasps, hornets, or even bees. Finding the nest can help greatly with identification. Yellow jackets will establish nests underground or within structural voids. Hornets build round nests among tree branches or underneath eaves. Paper wasps create open, umbrella-shaped nests underneath elevated cover. Carpenter bees infest wooden structures and will create holes that are about half an inch in diameter. To treat yellow jackets, hornets, and paper wasps, you can use a product like Striker Wasp and Hornet Killer. This product contains prolethrin and comes ready to use in a spray can. Just stand about 6 to 15 feet away, shake the can, and drench the entire nest. For yellow jackets, drench the entrance to the nest, then spray directly into the nest opening for 6 to 8 seconds. Be sure the product makes contact with as many pests as possible. To treat carpenter bees, you'll need a foaming insecticide like Fipro. Fipro contains fipronil and will expand to fill out-of-reach areas when applied. Just fit the included straw dispenser into the actuator, hold the end of the straw to the hole opening, and apply product until the galleries are full for up to 8 seconds. Pests that make contact with the product will die within several minutes. Once Fipro dries, it will also leave a lasting residual that will prevent reinfestation for up to 30 days. The fall season brings cooling temperatures with different factors that affect common pest activity, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop these common fall pests from invading your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.